intensity, which means that it's actually going from short to high intensity movements. So it's just like walking. And so you're not really using, uh, what do you call it, your strength, but your stamina. And you're building your stamina. And running, which we can't do because it's the house. Haha, <laughs> I tricked you over there. And so we'll be talking about aerobic, anaerobic movements. My favorite, you know. <laughs> and as you can see over here, anaerobic movements. Basically, they're classified as really high intensity movements that really don't need as much oxygen, but need glucose to fill in the proteins. And so over here, you're gonna be using like really, 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 uh, what do you call it? Really high intensity, really heavy dumbbells, or even barbells or weights. And they really help you with your strength and all that stuff. And so you need to be doing this three to four times a week. I think I do it three to four times a week, but that's not, that's, okay, moving on, it's okay. So in comparison, we're going to be comparing and contrasting them. So anaerobic movements, they're pretty cool, but pretty hard at the same time. They don't need as much, as much oxygen and doesn't need as much stamina, but it's really hard to do it because of all the weights and stuff, it's, ugh, you know? And so what I think is that we should all be doing anaerobic, anaerobic movements during this crisis, the COVID-19 also. And I think this is gonna be a great year for all of us. And so, well, I don't think there's really much to talk about. So thank you for listening. I'm gonna go work out now.